God has brought me laughter. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Happy, New Happy New Year. Let's do great things in the New Year. Yeah. Uh, welcome to this worship service. Uh, the title of uh, today's message is Abraham sent off Ishmael. The key verse is uh, chapter 21, verse uh, 14. Let's read this verse together. Let's go. Early the next morning, Abram took some food and a skin of water and gave them to Hagar. He sent them on her shoulders, and <clears throat> she went on her way and wandered in the desert of Beersheba. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, we thank you so much for uh, uh, your protection and your blessing uh, throughout the year uh, 2019. By your grace, we have been uh, through all challenges, and we have been victorious. Today, we are here starting this uh, uh, new year uh, uh, before you and with you, Lord. May you speak to us. May you grant us your words so that we may have a clear direction of how we would live our life before you, Lord. May you bless this worship service with your holy presence from the beginning to the end. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> First, he will pray for you and you will live. Genesis chapter 20 verse 1 reads, Now Abram moved on from there into the region of the Negev and lived between Kadesh and Shur. For a while, he stayed in Gerar. Gerar is a modern day Gaza Strip in Israel where the Jewish settlers and the uh, uh, Palestinians uh, have fought so far. Its original people were the Philistines. As Abram moved into this area, he was afraid that the Philistines would kill him to take his wife. So he told Sarah to say that he was her brother. In the previous passage, we saw Abram's maturity. His hospitality toward the three guests and his sincere prayer struggle for the people of Sodom testify that he was a great man. He grew to be God's friend. But now in today's passage, we see him telling a lie for he was afraid of the people in Gerar. Even though he had grown up as a great man of God, he still had a unique weakness that was the fear of people or the fear of human kings. When we see great people, great servants of God like Abraham or Billy Graham, we think that they are perfect. So we expect them to show their perfection. And when we see them have some problem, we are disappointed. They are not perfect. They are struggling to be perfect. <laughs> With maybe some unique weaknesses. And God bears with their weaknesses. Because of his lie, Sarah was in big trouble. No wife likes this kind of husband. That was Abraham, great man of God. And Sarah was in big trouble. Abimelech, king of Gerar, took her as his wife. How did God deal with this problem? God did not say anything to Abram about it, even though it was totally Abram's fault, his lack of faith in God, his unbelief. Instead, God dealt with Abimelech directly. God appeared to him in a dream and said, you are as good as dead. Because of the woman you have taken, she is a married woman. Usually, God does not threat, uh, threaten anyone saying, you are as good as dead. <laughs> but this time, 
for the sake of Abraham and Sarah, God took this action, saying, You are as good as dead. For the sake of protecting his friend Abraham, God was, going to, God was willing to go this far, changing his cool and great style, but saying, You are as good as dead. God gave Abimelech a direction to return, to return Sarah to Abraham with a warning that otherwise he and all his men would surely die. Also God said to him, He is a prophet. He will pray for you and you will live. Abraham being a prophet showed that he was not an ordinary human, but a divine being deserving honor and respect. Also, Abimelech was a king, but God showed him that actually his life was at the mercy of Abraham. Only if Abraham prayed for him, he would be healed and lived. In this way, God exalted Abraham highly so that Abimelech might show Abraham proper respect and honor. Focusing on his fruitless life, Abraham might think that uh, uh, Abraham might think that he had done nothing great for God thus far. He might think that he was nobody. But this passage shows that God deeply appreciated what Abraham had done thus far. How he had struggled to keep God's covenant in his heart thus far. In God's eyes, Abraham was really great, deserving honor and respect. That's why God wanted him to be honored and respected. God was deeply concerned about Abraham's name. This is how God deals with those who love him and pursue him. God says in the Bible, those who honor me, I will honor. But those who despise me will be disdained. God is the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Yet, he says that there are those whom he honors. Wow, what kind of people are they? They are those who honor him by living for him despite challenges and difficulties, just like Abraham and Sarah, pursuing God's great vision upon their life wholeheartedly. When some people live for God and pursue him this way, in God's eyes, they are no longer ordinary humans, but the ones, the, 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 but the ones who deserve honor, even God's honor. And he is very concerned about their names. He wants them to be exalted highly. So when you see anyone who lives this kind of life, what should you do? Show honor and respect. How can you be honored by God this way? You also live like Abraham and Sarah, holding on to God's covenant vision and pursuing it all the way. God honors those people. When Abimelech woke up, he was very alarmed. He called in his officials and told them about it. And they were very alarmed too. So after discussing how they should deal with this matter, they came to Abraham with their gifts of sheep and cattle, male and female servants, and returned the Sarah to him. Abimelech also gave Abraham a thousand shekels of silver as a compensation for Sarah. In this way, the Philistines treated Abraham very respectfully and let Abraham live wherever he liked in their territory. Living as a man of God in a foreign land was not easy for Abraham, especially in such a violent and lawless land. 
But God was his good shepherd who watched over him. And God patiently bore with Abraham's weakness. 